Hello Stevie's, we're back in the garage again today because we are going to check out some new grips for the Dyna. It's going to be more of a comparison than anything else. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be more of a comparison video than anything else. Um, you guys have all seen install videos on Dyna's. Uh, this one has the throttle cable still because it's the 2014. I have here a set of Harley Davidson grips. I don't know which which family this is from. Uh, this was on my Road King when I bought it. Um, they're they're comfortable grips. They're not bad. I I just I just wanted something different. But this is obviously fly by wire. Um, And this is a set of grips off of Amazon. This company got a hold of me. I'll put their name here somewhere because quite honestly, I cannot pronounce it. But they reached out and said, hey, we want to give you guys a set of grips for your Dyna. And I said, yeah, go ahead and send them and we'll see what's what. But they happen to be similar, if not almost the exact same, without the logo as the grips that came on my Road King, these are also the grips that Amy has on her Deluxe. Obviously one, one is made for a fly-by-wire, throttle-by-wire, and the other one isn't. But these are both left-handed grips. The only thing I can see is that the rubber on the Amazon grip does not come down as far as the rubber on the Harley grip. If I hold these up it's similar. It would appear that this grip is just a little bit longer also. It would also appear that this is a glue-in grip and this one is not. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the Dyna real quick and then we're going to take a look at it. This one has Harley grips on it already. Not a big fan of these because of the way that my hands feel when I'm gripping on them. Um, it leaves the little indentions on your hand. I don't know that you're ever going to squeeze them that hard, but focus. But it does. So in the box with these grips, you get the left grip. You get the right grip, which this is for throttle cables, obviously. And it's all chrome, too. That's kind of cool. And you do not get glue. So, I am going to have to get some hairspray. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll install these quick and then we'll take a look at them. Well, I'm not going to bore you with watching me install them both. I'm not even going to bore you with watching me install this one. Now, these, this grip that's on here is not glued in. It's kind of a plus, I think, but um, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll take these apart and then we'll take a look at what we got. Now we'll be getting all new T-handles with their own holder. So that's that easy to take off because it's not glued on. So one thing I can promise you about this because I started putting this on a little bit, this is a one-stop shop. You get this on and it ain't coming off. With this one, you get it on and it will come off because it's held on by the switch housing. This one, you use hair hairspray to lube it up a little bit to get it on there and then it's not coming off, right? If you did have to take this off for some maintenance or you switch some bars or something, you're buying new grips. Um, but these puppies are not expensive. Okay, so these are $39. They're Defiance hand grips, 25 millimeter aluminum hand grips, compatible with Harley Davidson Softail Dyna Sportsters. $39. That's the name of the company. She did pronounce it for me once, but uh, I cannot. Umtivitiv, umtiv2. Umtiv2? 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 
Yum tiv tu. You tim tu. You him tu. Yum tiv tu. Yum tiv tu. Yum tiv tu. Lim tiv tu you. Lim tim tu you. I don't know. They've got all sorts of stuff though. And then that picture right there gives you the measurements. Now, the nice thing about this though, with it just sliding on and off, they're clocked. They only go on one way. That switch housing holds them on. You don't have to worry about, is this too far down? Am I only going to see this? Is this going to be sticking straight up? It's this no matter what. So both of them will match. Like I said, spray some hairspray down in here. Gives you lubrication and the hairspray helps it stick after it dries. That makes a huge difference in putting these on. A little bit of lubrication, she slides right on. So these are the same thickness, but these are same thickness all the way through. And these Harley ones are kind of contoured in the middle, which I think these actually are called contour grips. I actually like them quite a bit. So with, with the Harley grip, you can see the way that it's clocked it's going to be this way. The Harley Davidson logo is going to be pointed at you. You can see with the way that these are, that's going to be more up and down, which I don't see a problem with that. But that's something to think about. It's not going to be straight on like the Harley grip would. As far as feel goes, they feel the same, they're the same thicknesses. So that's a kind of a preference deal right there, which one of them you would rather have. And the rubber grip is closer to the end. Nope, there's another difference. So the Harley grip, the grooves go all the way to the end cap. The Amazon grip, the grooves stop at the end cap. The only difference really these are held on by the switch housing and of course they say harley davidson on it and these don't say harley davidson on it and these are glued on the only problem with being glued on is they're going to be they're going to be tough to get off pull one off new one on eh, i don't really care for that gap See, like I said, this is going to face up instead of straight back towards the bike. So do this side first. Pretty happy with that right there. And now to get these lined up. This one needs to be turned like that. Um, these grips, my, my hairspray is dried. That grip is on and adjusted. All right, so what do I think of these? I think that these are a great budget grip. If you're looking for something to just change up the look of the bike and maybe not spend a bunch of money right now, maybe wait till later. If you, if you just need something for now, I think they look great. I don't care for the gap that's over on the throttle side. Um, the, the, uh, the left side is glue on instead of held on by the switch housing like i showed you guys earlier um but i mean i like the chrome you know me i like chrome someday i'm going to chrome out these switch housings and stuff too so yeah yeah i get it i get it 
for somebody that doesn't want to spend a bunch of money right away on their bike just want something different than stock especially stock i mean this is compared to stock hundred thousand percent better than stock grips um i guess i should have been comparing them with stock grips instead of custom grips um so yeah i get it i like them i like them i like them i like the look of them i like that the they're 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 angled different like i've showed you guys already i will say though guys if this company did not pay me to do this they just sent me the grips they didn't say hey you have to tell us that these things are great anything like that um nothing they just said hey want some grips for your dyna and i said yeah sure do and so they sent them to us and they're more than what I expected for $39. So again, go check out uh, that company, which I cannot pronounce. Yeah, so everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one.